So we start off with the dashboard, which is made up of the following tabs, the task, event log, issue activities, and a scanner. We're in the dashboard, and you can see the tabs mentioned in the presentation here. Uh, you could also see um, the scanner interface button. And uh, one thing that um, it's worth noticing is the localhost address, also known as the loopback address, and the port number that Burp Suite uses. This button here brings up the Burp scanner, and here you can automatically do vulnerability assessment of web applications. You can conduct an active scan, which involves sending more data to the server, or you can just rely on the on the passive scanning here, uh, which is basically looking for vulnerability passing through uh, the proxy tool. You have to bear in mind that a really fast scanner um, can unintentionally cause a denial of service on the application. So try not to overdo it. So um, you can rely essentially on the on the passive scan here. Um, I, I do believe that it is as effective as uh, the active scan because it's able to identify numerous kinds of vulnerability um, using um, passive techniques. Um, I'm unable to show you a live scan here to highlight issues, activities and event logs. But um, when we come to the labs, uh, you should be able to uh, identify those elements.